Wow. Uh, okay. I'm used to being very calm and collected and composed on a stage, but um, yeah, that, that took it. That took all my composure out. So thank you so much for such a beautiful introduction and summary of my life. It was um, amazing to hear it put all into a concise box. I usually I'm too wrapped up in working to realize what I'm doing half the time. So um, thank you for doing that <laughs> so eloquently um, for me. Uh, it's an, a huge privilege, of course, for me to be here. And I want to say a special thank you to Erica Muir for inviting me to be here today because this is her inauguration. This is her very special, amazing day. Sadly, I'm not able to be here at uh, the next event uh, due to my touring. So I really appreciate um, having this opportunity to, to mark this occasion. So thank you so much for this opening. Um, it really means a huge amount to be recognized in this way uh, by an institution that is, of course, dedicated um, tirelessly to the advancement of music to such a high level at Berkeley. I was first actually introduced to Berkeley um, some years ago as a result of a beautiful invitation by Joe Galeota, known as Papa Joe here in the university. Uh, and it feels like a wonderful journey that continues to thrive and flourish over the years here at Berkeley. I felt an immediate affinity to Berkeley the day I arrived. Um, music in, its all in all of its diverse forms feels like it seeps from the walls of this institution. Uh, and I sensed a unique ethos of self-empowerment and self-agency um, from the students here at Berkeley. And it deeply resonated with me and the work that I do in the field of education. There's nothing that inspires me and drives me more uh, in this world than being instrumental in the impact that education can have on the next generation. This is what led me to found the Gambia Academy in 2015. It's an institution that I set up dedicated to educational reform in Africa. The core mission of this academy is to pioneer a new education model, a model that is liberated from the legacy of the education systems that were implemented during the colonial area in Africa. And it enables us to bring culture, languages, history, and the traditions of African people to the very center and core of their academic education. Whilst our theme feel extremely proud of what I've been able to achieve at the academy so far, I feel equally ashamed of the fact that to this day, the legacy of colonialism still lives on in Africa within our education systems, despite political independence being achieved many, many decades ago. What is long overdue is not endless efforts to improve and fix what I would say is a very broken education system that was implemented to undermine and to disempower Africans, but rather uprooting this broken system altogether to replace it with one that brings culture the identity and the values of the people to its very core. Music plays a very central role within this education model, within the academy, not because as many often, people often presume I'm obviously a musician myself, but because music carries the very essence of the cultural identity of the people. Historically across Africa, music has been an integral part of the very fabric of the daily existence of people. It cannot be separated from the functionings of society as an isolated practice. In many societies, even the word music as an isolated concept or term does not even exist. Music is in fact woven into the very fabric of society in a very inseparable manner. Therefore, within our education model, music is similarly woven into the very everyday learning experience of our students. This not only draws on central African cultural values, but also serves as a very powerful vector for the identity, the cultural pride, and self-confidence of our students. My ambition is not to create a unique institution, but rather to set a new bar, to bring into question the accountability of the education systems in Africa. I'm developing a blueprint, curriculum model that is scalable, that can be implemented into other schools, both inside the Gambia and across the continent at large. 
In order to prove a common output can be achieved, I've drawn students from a very wide demographic area in the country, students from towns, from villages, some are orphaned, some are financially stable, others are not. Some are members of cultural hereditary groups and others are not. This balanced representation is aimed to prove that no matter what their backgrounds, or where they have come from, if we expose students to the right education that empowers and supports them on a daily basis from within their own control viewpoint, this will find, they will find the confidence to be who they are, be proud of that, and understand that to be educated is synonymous with being a proud and centered African. While music is my passion in life, my commitment to a new education model for Africa is my life's mission and purpose. This curriculum will foster a new generation of African leaders, change makers, entrepreneurs, who will be liberated from the legacy of cultivated mental dependency. This is a huge and long-term undertaking and the unforgiving intensity of the work often far, far outweighs the immediate rewards that I see. One must have patience and a determined will to succeed no matter the challenges faced, of which there are so many. It is therefore so, so deeply meaningful to receive this recognition today, what I'm doing. It adds an invaluable, invaluably adds to my strength and my courage and my drive to continue on this path, knowing that there are beautiful moments of support along this very long road. I want to say thank you again to Berkeley College of Music for supporting me, for recognizing me, and especially to Dr. Muir for giving me this beautiful moment on my life's journey. Thank you so much.